What's up fellow nerds? Dr. Paul here with a comic book that doesn't look like much but has a lot of potential. Avengers number 40, low grade, but double cover. So I'm going to do a couple little short videos um, in between steps of what we're going to do for this book. We're going to try to clean it up and make it look like a decent mid-grade book and um, maybe slab it. Maybe put it in our collection, maybe find a buyer for it. So first things first, um, it did have a little bit of surface dirt to it. And what I did was, it. the only thing I've done so far is wipe the surface with a damp cotton round. And when you do that, you want to make sure it's just barely damp. You also want to make sure you don't rub real hard in any one place. So what I do is if I find <clears throat> little areas where there are, um, there's clearly something on the cover that should be cleaned off, I will go circular motion and stay in that area, but not press hard. And I'll keep checking to make sure I'm not lifting ink. And then when, as you do that, if you look with the light at the right angle, you'll see the reflection. Typically, you'll see um, those spots disappear if it's working. And if it's not working, then you know that's all you really can do at this stage with that. So I've already completed that step. The next step here could be one of two things. Either we could humidify this and fix this um, spine roll or we could dry clean it. My preference is to dry clean it next. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. And then we'll humidify it and uh, fix the spine roll. So I'm gonna not show you the dry cleaning because it's a pretty tedious process. And I think you've seen it from a lot of other YouTube channels. Um, but I'm gonna go ahead and just hit this with erasers. The main tools of the trade are just white erasers. Um, this is the Mars, which a lot of uh, comic book cleaners prefer. This one here is a little bit softer. I find sometimes is easier on the gloss. So with a comic that has a really nice glossy cover, I might go with this one. Um, large areas, obviously you can cover with this as long as you are very gentle. This actually can put a lot of force into the paper, easy to rip the paper. And then when you need to get into really tight areas, I have a number of other erasers. Um, say, I wanted to get into this lettering, right? It's tough, even when you cut these at an angle, it's tough to really get in there. So I have this eraser. This is made more like the Mars so it doesn't it crumbles more than rolls and um again you can produce a lot of force with this you can take the uh, gloss off the book really easily so you want to be careful for really really tight spaces i have one that's only like two millimeters wide and we can actually get right into areas like that if we need to so those are the tools for the cleaning I'm going to go ahead and do that off camera and then um, we'll have a look at it and then we'll we'll take it through the next few steps. All right, we got this the dry cleaning complete. I ended up having to more or less flatten the book in order to clean the spine um, because of the spine roll that the book had. So um, we now have a close to flat book which is the first step in fixing this spine roll. And we have a clean book. In addition to cleaning these covers, the exterior, I did have a quick look at the interior cover. I don't think it needed a lot of dry cleaning, but it does have a few stains that we may fix with some spot wet cleaning later. But for now, um, we have a, a book that's been cleaned and we're gonna humidify this book in anticipation of fixing the spine roll. And um, so that's the next step. Again, I'll do it off camera. I have a humidity chamber. Uh, I keep my chamber at 
a 99% humidity. And um, the book will just go into it for approximately an hour. And I will put it in the chamber like this flat so that we get maximum humidity into this, um, both this surface and the inner pages so that we can flatten that spine because the spine roll obviously goes through all the pages of the book. So I'll do that off camera and then we'll come back and have a look at uh, how we flatten this, how we fix the spine roll.